guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Sal speaking and welcome to a new episode of Roman Cookery. Today I will cook for you Nestor's onion soup. Homer talks about it in the Iliad and he defines onions to be the best drinking companions. I can imagine Nestor and Macaon coming back to camp after fighting against the Trojans and being really weary and tired and hungry, why not? I can't imagine them eating this onion soup with wine. If you think this recipe is hard to digest, make sure that you favor old wine. Athenaeus in his De Nosophisti explains that old wine is better than young wine, not only for pleasure but also for good health, it is easier to digest, and the very fact that it's made of small particles it makes it easier for us to assimilate the food that we are actually eating provides strength to the body and makes your blood red and this terminology this way of saying we actually use it anytime today we you we said all the time that wine makes your blood red and that this is really cool and interesting it comes from the romans for sure oh and also wine it favors blood circulation and makes you sleep well well Old wine, the wine that the Romans used to drink, I'm sure it was an amazing wine that is nowhere to be found today, unfortunately. So come with me, come to my kitchen and I'll show you how it's made. Okay, here we are guys, it is time to cry, yeah. The time for crying has come. For this recipe we need two onions, two big ones actually. So you need to cut the onions and chop it. It's interesting how the Romans used to combine different kind of ingredients together, you know, things that we nowadays wouldn't cook together, but they did it back then, and that's really interesting actually. with my pinky knife See guys, you make me laugh, you make me cry too. Woo! These onions will make you cry. I believe if they're good onions will make you cry. If they're bad onions, you're not gonna cry. Okay, 
Very good. Okay. We need to use a big pan for this recipe. So for this recipe I suggest you to use one fourth of a cup of butter. So around about this amount here. Maybe this is a little bit too much, but who cares? Butter when it goes around in the pan, like let's make it dance in the pan. Ooh. First of all, let it melt, and then we can add the onions. Okay. Ooh. See how fast it goes, like. Okay, very good. Now let's add our onions. When they get kind of blondy, you know, when they get kind of golden, golden color, you can Add the milk with it. Make sure you mix it because we don't want it to burn, but you can tell it's not quite ready yet. So we're about to add our milk. One and a half liter of milk. Okay. Let's add our milk. So let's uh, let it cook till the onions are ready. So it needs to be there for a while. See how our sauce is kind of thickening in a way, you know, our soup here, you know. It looks good to me. It looks really good. So let's cut our bread here. So we're gonna slice the bread and we're gonna toast it, you know, we can toast it in any way. I'm gonna put it in a pan, in a frying pan, I'm gonna toast it for a little bit. In the meanwhile I put some eggs here, I'm mixing three eggs together.
Okay, we need to use a tomato press. Take our onions. We're gonna have to press it. So you need to press it this way. Okay, in this way we created kind of a creamy soup, you know, it was great to press it. Now let's move to the next step. And now let's take our bread and let's place it here. Okay, don't forget to add a little bit of salt in the eggs. So I'm gonna put a little bit of salt here. Now let's add our, our eggs here. Let's put our eggs here on top of the bread. Okay, very good. Let's add some Parmesan cheese on top. Very good. I would suggest you to add a little bit of pepper, although in the real recipe we don't put any black pepper, but why not? Okay, let's add our cream. kind of heavy but that's how you do it wow interesting mix it together a little bit and let's see what happens wow this is gonna be very interesting it is very good i like it well guys cooking this recipe for you was so much fun and it was very very tasty thank you so much for your support thank you so much to my patients without you guys I wouldn't be able to do this kind of videos. I need more support. If you like this series of Roman cookery, please don't hesitate to support me on Patreon. Thank you so much for watching and remember, if you feel sad, you better call Sal. Bye bye.